So, Alison, what happens is our patients flow through from our operating rooms and they come into the recovery unit. The recovery unit is a first stage um, recovery for the patient and then they go into a day surgery or back to the ward for a second stage recovery. Um, the system here that we use is ARC and it's an automated um, anaesthetic record keeping system and the patient will just flow through on ARC and will be able to call all of their records from theatre up onto this monitor. Okay. Then we admit the patient here and we do our assessment. Part of that assessment is making sure that the monitor is on, making sure that we attach their blood pressure, making sure that we attach their SATs. Then, once we do that, the Ormus system will prompt us in regards to what we need to do next with our patient. So the patients, once you select the patient's name here, all of their details from theatre will come across? Will come across to here. Okay. Okay. So um, what sort of things do we look at? We look at what sort of um, airway they have. Do, if they have an endotracheal tube, do they get extubated in theatre or does it...? Sometimes they get extubated in theatre, but more than likely they're extubated outside. So if they have an LMA, mm -hmm. a laryngo... Um, no. Laryngeal mask, yep. or if they have an ET tube, yep. um, they will come out to here sometimes. It's ideal that most ET tubes are actually taken out in theatre, mm -hmm. but if they've got an ET tube out here, we ask that the doctor take them out. Okay. Um, but the laryngeal mask, certainly our nurses take them out. Okay. Um, they sometimes come out with Goodell's in place, and of course we make sure that their airway is patent and the patient is stable um, before we progress and, and try and wake them up. So your priority I hear is always ABC? So always Definitely airway. always airway, always breathing and then circulation. Okay. Um, the monitor will take OBS every five to ten minutes, um, but during that stage you should be constantly assessing your patient. Okay. And that's looking at work of breathing? And that's looking at your work of breathing, that's looking at your um, hemodynamic state, that's looking at your respirate, that's making sure that all their... Um, their lines are patent and working, making sure that their infusions are working, making sure that their drains are in place and draining properly, making sure they have an IDC or not have an IDC, it does, you know, depending on their operation, making sure that's draining, making sure their wound care is, um, is done appropriately in regards to the right dressing and making sure that there's not a lot of ooze and if there is a lot of ooze, you know, to call the doctor if we need to. So um, what kind of safety equipment do we have out here? We have all the safety equipment that you need to resus the patient. We of course have our resus trolley um, in the actual recovery yep. room, so it's there ready to go. But directly where our patient care is, we have an air viva. We have the McGill circuit um, to help rebreathe the patient. We also have the TEDS machine sitting here as well, so if our patient is cool when they come out or they need um, subsequential compression devices, we make sure that we put that on the patient as well. And um, that's for your prophylactic DVT? DVTs, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, the VTE or VTE. Um, we also have warming devices because a lot of the times the patients have been in those static positions yeah. while they've been in theatre, so we'll need to put warming devices on them as well. So it's a constant monitoring while they're out here. They stay approximately a half an hour and then they move on to the next stage of their recovery. And is there any scoring system that you use before a patient Abs Absolutely, there is a scoring system. They must be hemodynamically stable before they move on to the next stage. Okay. So that's making sure their airway breathing and circulation is 100% within the ranges that they need to be in before yep. we move them out. 